right, Chandler, thanks so much. A closer look now at that deadly overnight crash we've been telling you about in Plymouth Township. Two cars colliding at a busy intersection there, leaving three people dead. You can see the impact that scattered debris all across the roadway there. Eyewitness News reporter Crystal Cranmore is live at the scene along Ridge Pike, which is now back open. Crystal, good morning. Good morning. Yeah, that impact certainly very devastating. Again, three people dead, according to authorities. Another person, at least one person, taken to a local hospital with injuries unknown at this time. This crash happening right behind me at this intersection here on Ridge Pike. You couldn't tell. Authorities just cleaned up the scene about 10 minutes ago and reopened it to traffic. But let's get straight to this video of the crash. It involved two cars, a Honda Pilot and a Dodge Caravan. It happened around midnight. The Dodge Caravan especially, especially mangled, extremely devastating. You can see just how hard that impact was. Again, this happening around midnight. Initial reports indicated that there was an entrapment. Police not yet releasing details about, about the identities of the victims until their families have been notified. Police, again, don't know how this crash happened. They don't know if it was speed-related or if rain might have been a factor. Now, just to paint a picture of this major thoroughfare here, Ridge Pike crosses Chemical Road, Colwell Road, and North Lane are also here at this intersection. People familiar with this area call this a very dangerous intersection. We spoke with a person who heard the crash. Here's what they had to say. We were inside the house watching TV and all of a sudden we heard an extremely loud crash. The whole front of the car was taken off. It wasn't even, it, it, I couldn't even make out what type of vehicle it was. I saw the other, the other car at the other side of the intersection and um, I was just kind of praying for best case scenario, but it didn't look good. Now, again, triple fatal, another person taken to a local hospital, according to authorities, with injuries unknown at this time. The investigation is continuing. We are hearing from Plymouth Township Police that they may have some additional details to provide to the media at some point later on today. But for now, that is the very latest here in Plymouth Township. Crystal Cranmore, CBS3 Eyewitness News. Okay, Crystal, thank you.